Hello everyone. Cheryl and Charlie's Personal Crafts here. How are you? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of days, but the reason I haven't seen you is because I had some serious troubles with my right leg, the one I've been telling you about, and it got so bad. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I, um, I had to take Charlie to my daughter's and uh, so I miss him awful bad, but it wasn't fair to Charlie that I can just barely walk him. And I didn't want to keep bothering Tom, although he never complained. <coughs> I'm sorry. No, I hope I don't have Corona. <coughs> Something's itching my throat, but I am a little worried because I had to go to the hospital and urgent care. So my daughter insisted I go to urgent care from her house. So I went out and to where she lives and uh, they took me in and um, I wore, uh, of course I wore a face mask and they gave me an x-ray. I was there about two hours and found some substantial things wrong and um, with arthritic issues, something with my bone and fluid on my knee, it's really swollen. A lot of big words I don't understand. So I said, well, what can you do to help me? And they said, well, actually, you need to see an orthopedic doctor. So I said, yeah, but you know how hard it is to see an orthopedic doctor under these times? So she said, well, go to the ER. So it was about seven o'clock at night. I was there, you know, a few hours. I went home and I went to, uh, woke up the next day in agony. It was so bad, I couldn't barely stand up. So I said, oh, this is it. So I went to the hospital and was there about four hours. They got these sliding glass doors and all this stuff. And you got to talk on the phone to, you know, the uh, nurse and get your information. And so they said that, um, they said that uh, they saw the x-ray because I, it was at the same place, Virtua. And uh, he, I said, well, can you please give me a shot and drain the fluid, please? And he said, oh, we don't do that. What do you mean you don't do that? I said, this, they told me to come here they, that they couldn't do it at the uh, urgent care. He goes, well, I'm afraid because you're, you've got that cancer and we could give you an infection. So you need to see a specialist. Oh, I'm so sick of specialists. Uh, orthopedic surgeon to make sure you don't get an infection, but you definitely need something done to the knee and it, and it drained. So I, I said, okay. So I left there and I called this morning and because it's urgent, they're gonna see me tomorrow, which is really fast. And it's good that I went to the hospital. Because I went to the hospital, they knew what, what condition I'm in and they saw my x-ray and they, so it, it's getting me in faster. So thank God for that. So tomorrow I'm gonna to go get something done. Don't ask me what, but I can tell you one thing. I'm not gonna get operated on because I made a deal with myself that after I was diagnosed with this crazy cancer, I told my daughter, no more surgeries, I'm done. I'm done with surgeries, you know? I, I don't know what they're gonna do, but they better drain it and make it feel better or something. It's not their fault, but you know. Anyway, so honestly, I couldn't even come on here because I'm in agony. I'm still in agony, but I got an ice pack on it and I got 600 milligrams of uh, Motrin or ibuprofen that they gave me. It's helping just a tiny little bit. Okay, so um, I don't have the dog, like I told you, and I miss him awful, but he's very happy, and uh, my daughter sends me videos. So I wanted to come on, because I'm, I'm not only in pain, but I can't sit still this way-wise with my hands, and my brain's always going, and I'm like, I wanna, wish I could do something for um, crafting, with something easy that I can show you guys. So, um, well, a couple things I want to go over with you real quick. I don't know who gave me these little baby clothespins. I think it's Sue. I love clothespins. I got a whole bunch from my sister-in-law, and I got some from Sue, and I believe some from the other girls. But I love these baby clothespins. I'm using, I'm making so many crafts with them. 
Okay. Uh, for instance, remember with the with the truck, and I told you that after Easter, I'm going to take all the little sticker eggs off, scrape them off, and sand it, and I'm going to make it a summer spring truck. Well, I'm, I did it, and I'll show you what I did. I took uh, I took all the old Easter eggs and the. Um, you can look back on my videos and see the way it had eggs in it and stickers in it and all kinds of stuff Eastery. I took all that off, sand scraped it down, and I put these uh, floral, these beautiful little flowers in I had laying around. I put them on the butterflies, which I believe Rose gave me a long time ago. And I got a little thing, I'm gonna hang it, twine. And um, this is the sticker that I got a whole bunch of stickers from Angela. Where are they? Hold on one second. Here they are. Angela gave me these stickers with my birthday card and my gift. And uh, I gotta show you these. Okay. These are so marvelous. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that I need right now. Don't lose hope. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Pain is real, but so is hope. Boy, do I need that one. In all things, it is better to hope than to despair. There's another beautiful hope. There is hope. You are stronger than you think. So I used, I took one of them off and I put it on the truck we're all summer and spring. Let me get it. Let me get it so my. I'm trying to get it so it's because some reason if you have any type of vibration, there you go. Never lose hope. And I took the bunny off of the front. Now if you look at the bottom, I got the little clothespins glued. See? And I'm gonna put little ver little um either Bible verses or little sayings every day on the truck. All right, let me turn you around. All right, you are running. Okay, so this is gonna go up tonight and I'm making signs for the little clothespins. So, thank you, Angela, for that beautiful birthday gift and for that, be that wonderful gift you gave me. It came in really, useful <laughs> really so thank you so much okay let's get on to the crafting i want to go through my list so that i don't forget another thing so i want to go to the dollar tree because i needed magnets i know that's i shouldn't be in there for magnets but i i i had to get them because i'm making the crosses and i'm making magnets out of them and then I'm gonna do something summery with flowers or something, and I'm gonna make magnets out of them, hopefully, and sell them. So I couldn't find, I go to the Dollar Tree, it's closed early now because of the coronavirus, so, which is fine. I said, well, I gotta go get milk, a gallon of milk, because I'm a real big milk drinker and latte drinker. So I went into the Acme right next door. I said, doubtful they'll have any uh, magnets and doggone if I went in the dollar section I told you I always go in the dollar section and check this out these are designer magnets and they weren't a dollar though they were a dollar 27 they were next to the dollar section there's like sections and this was a dollar 27 for six magnets so I got with my birthday money four packs so I'm I'm all set to go to make some summer and spring things just pray to god i can get my leg better because if i don't get my leg better nothing's going to happen believe me so okay now another thing i wanted to show you is let me cross that off i'm going right down the line Stickers. okay next thing i want to show you i'm making mask and i sold six seven, eight, nine, ten masks. Uh, one lady put ten dollars under my door. I only made her two masks and I couldn't believe it. I just said, whatever you want to donate, donate, because I have to use material. 
and um, my material and my hot glue and I only have like four or five sticks of hot glue left so I have to get uh, out to get some hot glue fast that's why another reason I can't make my wreaths but in the dollar section of the Acme I was telling you about these they come four in a pack so they're little clips where you can hang something up so when you wash your face mask you can hang it's a little you have to kind of push it over your shower curtain rod because it's a little thin but it'll go on because you can it's stretchy and clip your face mask and just let it dry mine's in, one of mine i have four ones in there drying right now okay so that's that okay crossing everything off okay like i said no reason till i get glue sticks and my leg right okay uh what else hold on one second okay so i got bored and i i don't even know why a lot of us don't have uh like i'm sure a lot of you have vases you know laying around but sometimes you don't have the size the smaller size vase that you want well, I just wanted something to do. So I made myself a little vase and put some pretty flowers in that I had laying around. And this is the Easter napkin, which you can't even tell. And then I made a little base, which I'm gonna paint green. I, I'll show you, I put the base like that so it stands nice and straight, because this is plastic. And wait till you see what I made it out of. Okay, now get a good look at it. Is that pretty? Okay, and it stands perfect with the little, I made the bottom with the uh, sticks, the popsicle sticks, okay? This is what I made it out of, water bottle. Now how many of you have empty water bottles around? So give me a minute and I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna show you how to make these real fast and fun. Okay remember, okay, remember I had these old napkins from Christmas? If you don't, you can go back and look at, uh, I made something out of these napkins. It was a vase. And I, I left the deer on there and it was really cute. Okay, well, I don't really want the deer, but I love this check. And we're only going to use it on a, bot a plastic bottle. If you mess it up, don't panic, just throw it out. So remember the, the two or three ply. Now the napkin with the bunnies, this one that I just made my base with was three ply that my sister-in-law gave me. And that's this one. And I love it. And I realized that after making one and then I had to throw it away because it was coming apart. I could see there was another ply to the napkin. This is definitely a two ply napkin. I even keep these this part to wipe my hands this should go around the bottle okay so it's two two ply it's all ready to go all right so you're going to need i forgot to tell you that and i'm sorry scissors pretty napkin and don't forget to take if it's three ply or two ply take it apart mod podge a paintbrush and i think that's about it Okay, so I have my scissors. So what I do, there's like these ridges. This is a pretty thick bottle. Some of them are really thin. But see the ridges in here? I'm gonna cut, put a hole in the top part of the bottle. I gotta be careful, I can't get cut any more than that. All right, so I kind of squeeze my scissors and then I'm gonna cut around that first ridge of the bottle. This is a very, I don't know, it's got a free, really. This, and I'm like, this is kind of fun to do if you're bored and in pain. Okay, and then I kind of take my scissors. In fact, I'm going to put this down a little more so you can see it better. I take my, I'm sorry, I got to have my leg up on this thing. So bear with me and kind of even it out a little bit. And I really like that it has these little ridges. Some of the bottles don't. I'm trying to even it out as much as possible. It's no big deal. Okay, so once you do that, and if it doesn't have to be perfect, so you got your bottle, okay? 
okay it's got these pretty little ridges in it which it is a little harder to get you know the napkin in it without cutting breaking the napkin but hey it's like I said it's free so let's not complain okay now here is the Mod Podge and I've got my over here I have my little table and let's get started let's see which one am I going to use Oh, okay, so here's the Mod Podge I'm using. The mat doesn't matter really, except I wouldn't use the fabric, but if you have the high gloss, use that. I'm almost out of Mod Podge too. This is a huge container, 32 ounces, and I've done so much that I I'm, I'm almost out. So I have the little bottle Sue sent me and I, 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 honest to God, I used them on my soul up. So I'm doing one little section at a time and try to get in all the little ridges, you know, these little ridges, all the way to the bottom, one little section to the bottom. And in fact, this one, I gotta get in there and push it out because it popped. So that's, you just use your brush to pop it back out. Just make sure you, like I said, get in all those little ridges if you can. Because it's it's not going to be a perfect, smooth situation. But, okay. What do you want, right? For free. All right, now I got my napkin all ready. And I want it to go up and down. So I'm going to start on the edge. And be very gentle. And press it down gently. Try to get it into the ridges if you can. Like I take my fingers and I feel for where the ridges are. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like cuckoo here lately with being in the house so much. But you know what? I don't mind. It's the right thing to do. At least I can go to the store and get milk. So you be very careful pushing it down. Don't worry about the top edges yet. All right, now where it stopped, you just go ahead and Mod Podge the next section. I would say the next inch and a half section of the, the uh, plastic bottle. I'm trying to get in there. The best that you can. And try, like I said, try to get in all those little ridges. I should be watching you to make sure you guys can see. And they got these weird things on the bottom. Don't worry so much about the bottom either because we can, we can work that out. All right, once again, we're gonna, we could use saran wrap but oh, I just ripped the part. It's okay. Just oh, be gentle. Like I said, if I'm not happy with this, I can put an extra piece. Be very gentle. But it would have been better with saran wrap. But I don't have it here with me, so we're just going to do it and hope for the best. Just kind of gently push through. Oh, press it down. Don't worry about the top or the bottom. Just worry about the in, in the uh, outside of the bottle and gently press. Don't worry if it cracks. I can always fix that. After all, always remember, sometimes I get so upset over a mistake, but just remember, this is a, a bottle that would be recycled, recycled so don't fret. Throw it out and start all over. I got a whole lot of bottles. I can even go into the recyclable room and wash all the bottles and put alcohol on them if I need more. So, and as long as you have pretty napkins or not, I was even thinking of using uh, material that I don't need anymore. And that's a possibility. I still may do that. 
Be very gentle because these napkins are so thin. Okay, now let's, I'm just laying my brush on top of the, uh, I wish I would have got the saran wrap, but just pull it gently and softly. Do press into the ridges. Because the ridges is, is really what makes it so unique and pretty. You would never know that that's not a bottle, honestly, a vase. Very careful. And like I said, you can press down the bottom a little bit, like that. So don't worry about it. Now, now what I'm going to do, I, I should wait for it to dry. You could take your edges and just press them in if you want, because we'll get back to that. I'm going to go over some of the spots where I see where I, I cut, I scrap, I cut it a little bit. I cracked up, you know what I mean. Okay, so I have to get a little piece. I'll be right back because I have to separate it. Okay, I should have had some extra ready, but I'm sorry I didn't. I should have thought ahead. All right, so there's the hole. And what I'm gonna do, I should have went in the kitchen and got some saran wrap, but I'm not gonna even bother. I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on there gently. I'm just gonna kind of blob it on there so I don't break it anymore. Okay, and let's lay that right over top that hole. Gently press. And press it down. Very gently. So I'm going to just use some Mod Podge and just go over the whole section. It'll give it a little extra. I did separate the napkin. It was two ply, so I did separate it. Yeah, we'll just lay. And then after this, of course, you have to let it dry about, I'm going to say to be safe, an hour. Maybe not even. That's, that's, that's really high because I put it underneath the fan. All right, and just kind of... Put a little Mod Podge on the top of the bottle where you cut it with some Mod Podge because what it does is stiffen it so that you can just cut it right off, right off the top when it dries. It's easier to cut. And the bottom, we're not going to worry about that because after this dries, I'm going to cut this this way and then I'm going to probably take it under and, and fold and, and uh, Mod Podge it. So try not to touch this section, because believe me, all you do is tap it and it's coming apart. All right, so this is our handmade uh, new vase. And we're gonna let it dry. And I'll come back when it's dry. Let me put a little extra here. Just to get that piece to lay down. Some of it is sticking up. If there's pieces sticking up, just gently go over it with the Mod Podge and lay it down. Okay, and then do the bottom, put a little extra on the bottom. Because like I said, you can cut all that off once it dries. Okay, so we'll let that go a little bit for about an hour. And, uh, let me come up here and then I'll show you what a cute little vase it makes. I mean, I honestly, I would know, and it's so light. And I love these little red flowers. I have flowers all over the place. And uh, I think they would make like a cute little cheap gift for maybe a school teacher or a friend. Just, you know, 
and maybe put some jewelry in there, a pair of earrings she wouldn't even know and put the flowers and say, oh, don't forget to look in the bottom of the vase. It has like all kinds of neat things you can do. Now, why this is drying, I can't touch it. Hold on one second because I have things to show you. Hi everyone. I'm gonna take you outside in my hallway to show you the um, beautiful, let me put a light on here. The beautiful signs that I made uh, outside on my door. I took the big wreath down because I wanted something different. And I decided to make homemade, yeah, homemade signs from cardboard and I painted them and I'm so happy. I made an, an orange and an apple. And the sayings on them are from Cheryl's, yours truly's heart. And um, and then on the car, I'm gonna put on my door now. And the little clothespins, I'm making little signs for them too. I just got tired of my wreath. I wanna make another door wreath plus another door wreath for Missy and another door wreath for someone very special in my heart. So I will get them done when I get hot glue. But So if I'm quiet out there, and you'll know why. Okay, you're running. Okay, this is the orange. Summer and spring flowers bloom as hope blooms in our hearts. And I put some butterflies and a little bee. And then right below that is my apple. As fall arrives and apples grow, change will bring hope. And I put a little, kind of, it's got glue on it. I hate glue, glue strings. Hold on. I'm a perfectionist, but yet I'm not. I just made this today. It's a little apple. I put some, I put some um, things that kind of are fallish on there. And now I'm going to put up my car. And in order to keep it staying straight, and then I'm gonna put little signs down here with my clothespins. I'm gonna put um, a sticker behind it to make it stay. I hope you like it. I like it. That's my apple and that's my orange. Okay, I'm back. Now I can see you. Okay, last thing I want to say to you is this. Thank you for bearing with me through the thick and the thin. I love you guys very much. I'm pretty sure I'm making it, getting a few more subscribers. I'm not, maybe they went down, I don't know. Maybe they went, I don't know. But I'm trying my best to reach 200. And I'm having another giveaway on that 200 big day. So there's one thing. There is a YouTube uh, channel that I've been watching for about two years. And I'm sorry I haven't mentioned her before. The name is, I believe, The White Cottage. Whoa. She is um, Amish. And I have several times purchased her soy candles. They're a little pricey, but I have it lit right now. And oh my God, it's raspberry vanilla. I bought one for my birthday with my birthday money. And I got 
another one from Missy. Oh, Missy, don't you didn't hear that. They are the most beautiful, soft smelling candles and she makes her candles and she has an Estee shop. She's uh, all Amish, she makes everything homemade. She refurbishes furniture, she is amazing. Oh God, and I just got her candles today and they were packaged beautiful. And she, and every single one of her cards, she thanks you. And with her name, she signs her name. And she's doing very well. But if, if you have a little bit of extra money and you want a really good soy candle, I'll tell you, they're worth it. You just gotta, you know, of course, pay for the shipping. And like I said, they're pricey. But one, maybe one year, one, yeah. Maybe every two, three years, I order a couple of her candles because I like supporting people's channels, one. And two, if it's a good product, you better believe I'm going to order it. So I love you guys. Take care. I will see you soon. Pray for me tomorrow to get my legs straightened out. Pray that I get my puppy back because I miss him awful. But it's not fair to him to be here when I'm in this condition. God bless. Take care and see you soon.